Welcome back to my cave. Once again, humans, we're going to be doing two levels, or at least one level in most of another level. I did kind of decide I wanted to make the ending a cliffhanger, maybe just for a little suspense. I don't know, give it a try. All right, so we got the scuba gear. Now we need to go to the underground lake. Just check up the handy dandy map. Mm, I guess we could pay old Chu on a visit. Get some health buffs. That never hurts. My noodles are Plus, Chu on is awesome. I don't know why. He just has the best look out of any character in this game. I wonder how Poe's life would be different if he was his adopted father instead of that bird. <laughs> Great food that is cheap and keeps you coming back for more. Enjoy all you can eat at Chuan's. Sure will, Chuan. Alright, now let's get to business. Where's that underground lake I've been hearing all about? Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get the machine to malfunction. Sometimes I just heal over and over to see if I can get it to do that. What am I trying to do now? Hmm. Ah, see if I can get up there, even though there really isn't any point to it. Oh! I guess there was a point to it. It's been a while. I really should get cracking down on this Let's Play. I haven't done it in a while. Oh my god, I just thought of the worst catchphrase Chuan could possibly have when fighting a bad guy. There's a bunch of mooks surrounding him, he makes a fairly dramatic entrance, and then he says, Chuan this, sucker. But, um, well, I mean, I did say it was the worst, didn't I? Kinda wasn't kidding. Alright, remember where I fought those weird frogs? Remember that area I stumbled upon that I wasn't supposed to be in yet? Yeah, let's check back on that area, shall we? All aboard the Subway Express! Choo-choo! Alright, here I am back at West Side. Time to tackle this underground lake. Hmm, I wonder what weapon would be best for it. Suppose I'm probably gonna need the whip to grapple onto stuff. But, yeah, the whip is good. Alright. Oh, this brings back memories. Hmm. Let's see what I've been missing all this time. Ooh. Hey, silly bunny. Are you there? It's me. I'm at the underground lake, but I don't see you. Sorry. I'm in a tricky situation over on my end. A lady flake sometimes. Jokes aside, though, open the map. I've marked your next destination. The ancient complex is guarded around the clock by the Cat Clan. I'll wait for you there. No second guessing this time. You must first find a special spark, though. It is the key to the ancient complex's gate. It's the spark again. Don't worry, silly bunny. The guardian of the spark wouldn't lie to you. I'll wait for you. Copy. Oh, you really are so naive, silly bunny. Okay, did General Mills trademark the phrase silly rabbit? Is that why they can't just say silly rabbit? Or were they worried that people doing a Let's Play on this game would constantly say Trickster for Kids? Well, screw them, because I want to say it anyway. Eh, but it's too late. They stopped talking. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, not much. 
there's something over there. If I could just get up to it. Come on, Rain. Oh, you gotta gotta use those platforms to your advantage. Nice. Mostly just a bunch of coins, but it didn't really take that much. It took a little brain power, but not so much. It wasn't strenuous or anything. Alright. Bunch of enemies. Whip is awesome. Super quick. Bouncing off enemies all the time. Come on. Ha! Miss me. And... Dang it. Wouldn't let me grab him. Execution. All right, let's see what else is here. Oh, another moke into the drink with you. Great, now I gotta get those coins. Sorry, Mr. Spiky Ball, dude. Not going near ya today. All right. Next up, what's over here? Let's see if I can kill that guy with the... Yep, the propeller blade. Deadly. And... Execution that we didn't get to see because he ran into the wall. Eh, well. Missed me. Alright. Alright, here we go. Execution! There's just something legitimately satisfying about those executions. Alright. Let's open up this chest. What do we got here? Riches. What's up? Hey! Yeah, you could try and traverse that till the cows come home. You ain't gonna do it. Alright. Guess we'll have to go underwater then. I mean, why did we even get that mask if we don't have to go underwater? Come on, you stubborn... I eh, guess we can't go that way. Okay, let's go down here. <laughs> Nothing there. Okay, and I guess we can't go that way either. Can we go anywhere down here? Oh, here we go. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep going. Just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. You know, those spiky balls kind of look like health pickups. It's kind of easy to run into them because of that. But it looks like the health pickups glow greener. Hmm. Wow, I still got Chuan's health buff. Nice. Alright. Does that enemy know what he's doing? Nope, doesn't look like it. He's trying to get away. Couldn't, huh? Alright, let's keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. <sighs> I haven't seen Finding Nemo in a long time. I've yet to see Finding Dory. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, what do we got here? A health station... I know I don't really need to heal for the healing buff, but I could regain my, uh, special meter. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, another puddle of Oh, I guess that's naughty water. Okay, so, up here. And there's a frog ninja waiting for me. You gonna do anything? Nope. Just die. Alright, grab the goodies. Ooh, what's up here? Ooh, another one of those piggy banks. I haven't said this before, I don't think I've shown it, but some of those piggy banks are very powerful frog ninjas in disguise. Alright, let's see what's... Uh, nope, nothing up there. 
Don't want to drop back down into the naughty water. Let's see what's in. Oh no, a boss fight. Or a mid boss, I should say. Whoa! Okay. Guess I'm not that well versed in dodging. But I think I can do this. Although, one of those big brutes and a frog? Oh boy. Oh, I think I can do this. Hey! Okay, two frogs? Come on, that ain't fair. All right. At least they give you a health pickup. That's nice. All right. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I'm making stuff go boom. All right, I think I can beat this guy. Just dodge that attack. Good bun bun. All right. All right, got him stunned. Come on, let's go. Ugh. Tough one egg, eh? Okay, I'm almost dead. Ugh. You're almost dead, Rayton. Take evasive action. All right, he's reloading. Now go for him. Urgh! Take that. Wish I would have done the execution. Guess I can't change the path, though. All right, another chest busted. What's up here? Absolutely nothing. Why even have the ledge then? Eh, who cares? Okay, nothing to do back here. Might as well go heal up. All right. Let's go it. Wait. Ah. Here we go. Come on, malfunction, malfunction, malfunction. Ah! I think I've only recorded it malfunctioning once so far. All right, now to go down here. Another frog ninja, throw him into the wall. Urgh! Oh, crap. Dang it! I always get mash happy, so I get locked into an attack loop, and the uh, only way to get out of it is to take damage, because that's what happens. Oh crap, not again. Ugh, I'm not good at that. You really gotta be cautious when it comes to attack loops. Sometimes you get stuck into them, and it leaves you open. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go down here. Oh. Back underwater. Another one of those dip wads. Alright. My experience, they haven't really been threatening. <clears throat> huh. Back above water again. That was quick. Oh well, that means some more wall jumping action. Honestly, the wall jumping in this game is so smooth. Back into the water and back up to land. Once again, that was quick. Some boxes to smash that don't really contain anything. Ooh, but what's down here? Ah! More of those Dean Ninjas! Come on! They're always tricky, aren't they? Did I beat them? Where'd they go? I swear, I thought they just did their teleport attack, but must have killed them. Or destroyed them, because they're robots. Alright, big guy, you want more of this fist? Sometimes it's just fun comboing in tight. It just... It's just that the, the, the gameplay is just really satisfying. Just... Comboing in enemies, and that! That was awesome! I can't believe he even survived that! More fire pillars and more naughty water. Okay. All I was down there was money, though, but dang it! I want to do this right, so I'm going back through this. Or not. Whoa. You know, I never understood why the dude from Two Worlds said that. And does anyone remember the theme song from that game? 
Suddenly, the fire burns so cool. What does that even mean, anyway? That's literally an oxymoron. It's like saying, Suddenly, the darkness is so bright. Or, Suddenly, the pudding is a cake. Just, who comes up with this? Or maybe I'm just stupid and don't get it. I don't know. Alright, so apparently these dipwads didn't learn their lesson the first time. Time to teach it to them again. Everybody wants Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> Dang it, he survived that! But he didn't survive Mr. Fire. Alright, let's see if I can do this correctly. Yeah, that's better. Okay, grab the goodies. Cha-ching! And now do it again correctly. All right. All right, big bad. Let's see what you got. Wait, what does hit me? Did it look like anything hit me? I mean, yeah, there was that dude's axe, but from what I could tell, it missed. Oh well, still gonna kick the crud out of this guy. Alright, going for the execution, and... Yeah! You know, what are people's opinions on... What's it called? Screen clipping? Personally, sometimes it's inevitable. So, I don't really mind it that much. It is a little immersion-breaking at times, but again... Sometimes it's inevitable. Huh. Looks like it's not that far away. Alright then. Still couldn't get it to malfunction. Oh well. Back into the drink. Charging 100 depths below. I'm in a league of my own. I guess I can't go through there yet. Alright. Oh, you little ambush predators, eh? Hmm. Hmm, how did that work out for you? Oh, not very good, huh? Oh, well. Oh, there's something coming out of there, too, isn't there? No? Thought for sure there'd be something coming out of that. Hmm. Or anything down there? Hmm. Try and go down there. I guess I can't. Try. It just didn't seem like I could actually go down there. I can go down here, though. Get another health pickup. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's a little tricky. I see where I was supposed to go, though. So that's my bad. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Ugh. Okay, that was dumb of me. See, I told you they looked like health pickups. Sometimes it gets kind of annoying. You really gotta pay attention to those. But, there's a quick guide for you, just so you know the difference. Woohoo! You know, I couldn't imagine being right in here. This whole scene honestly looks scary. And if you're hydrophobic, oh boy. Usually I don't think about that kind of stuff, but when you do think about it, yikes. Alright, I think I'm getting close to the bad guy. Yep, pretty close. Mm hmm. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. Alright, let's see if there's a healing station around here. 
Hey, aren't you gonna go find the healing station? Well, I guess I had other plans back then. Didn't really need to be healed that much, so... Guess I just wanted to get the level over with. Besides that, the next level's pretty cool. Oh boy. Oh, that's kind of clever. Thanks, Mr. Snake. At least I think you're a snake. Ow. Guess I wasn't quick enough. Ooh. Huh. Oh, I guess this isn't important right now. Wonder if it'll ever be important. Well, you know what you gotta do, Rayton. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And we're almost there. Ooh, what do we got? Ta-da! Underwater charge, eh? Hey, Urso. This underwater charge ability I picked up is a real kicker. Of course! It's one of my proudest inventions! With the Charge Force, the drill can cause massive damage. It can smash through tough metal walls and even strong currents. Enjoy your new underwater abilities! How the heck does Fatso keep inventing these things? Is he like some kind of super genius or something? With a big huggable body. Wouldn't mind having him in plush form. Mm. Alright. You know what you gotta do now, Rayton. Cause you got a license to drill. Woohoo! Now, what to do with this new fun little toy? Woo. Good a thing as any. More pathetic, wimpy ambush predators. Come on, guys. The underwater enemies just aren't challenging you. Ooh, what do I, up, ah, overshot. Hmm. Do like the design of this puzzle. It's kind of designed so you actually do it the right way. Hoo-ya! Hmm. What's down here, though? Ah, nice. Guess that's another seat I can take to the whiny little kid. Okay. You know, I find myself going on rants all the time and talking about stuff. And a lot of times that's just because I have nothing to say about the game. I've kind of been winging it. Like, saying what's going on on screen. Just a whole bunch of needless exposition because I'm just not clever enough to come up with anything. I mean, have you seen any of my fighting games? Of course they're not master level. But if you want master level, go watch a master level player's video account. This is a casual fighting game player. I'm going to be doing casual fighting game fan things. You want to see how a casual plays? Watch me. And I bet some people could actually relate because not everyone is a god at fighting games. And you know what else I'm not a god at? Pokemon Showdown. If anything, I feel like I've gotten better with my saltiness. I haven't had a really good salty rage on Pokemon Showdown in a while. In fact, recently I uploaded a video where I lost. I don't know, I found this one guy and I noticed he had a YouTube account and... Oh, wait. Hold on. Boss time! Hmm. 
That's not the same snake from before, is it? Let's take on this guy. I mean, not like I have a choice. And I don't know, it just... I feel like it's a cool idea to make a video based on a match you had with another YouTuber. And I feel like it's polite and a custom for the loser of the match to make the video. I don't know, it's also a good way to advertise someone else's account. Although, I don't know, sometimes I wish I had some of my old replays so I could remake some of my old videos. Like, the Colossal video. I strongly regret that voice I did for my opponent in the second match. I just, I really wish I didn't talk like that. That was just grating. And I don't know why, but hearing Sokka say, Good try, but no always makes me chuckle inside. Though it would have been clever if I actually had Colossal and Quagsire's faces on... Well, actually, it was, uh... Colossal wasn't the one that sent Shedinja Toxic. It was Quagsire. So yeah, put Quagsire's face on Sokka. Put Shedinja's face on Ty Lee. I think that's what the woman was called. And it would have been funnier. I mean... I did that with Chaos and Glumshanks. Why not with Sokka and Ty Lee? Mm -hmm. I noticed the boss drops health pickups. I don't know why that is. Don't you think that might make the boss a little too easy? I mean, it's pretty late in the game. Don't you want the bosses to get harder? Oh, what do we got here? Oh, boy. Ooh. Ooh, missiles. Okay, um... Plus, those green spots are getting harder to hit. Still dropping health pickups, though. I barely lost any life against this guy. This guy's easy as crap so far. There I go, referencing the nerd again. Magic 200 recently, huh? Well, Dan special was kind of disappointing. I just don't find myself going back to it. And I don't know why, that whole ending with the fake Back to the Future game, which is kind of real because there is a physical version or a digital version of the game you actually can play, it felt like a nightmare version of the LJN game. And it was just kind of creepy. Also, upside down holographic sharks for no reason. Now I'm losing some of my life. Still not too hard, though. Looks like I almost got him. Just gotta hit that one. Looks like I got one more. All right. What does he got? Anything? Do something. Oh, here we go. Yee. More cute little missiles. Lots of cute little missiles. I can just muscle my way through it and... Boom! Defeated. That guy was easy! What the heck? I mean, most of the bosses in this game are super difficult. But that guy was a cakewalk even compared to previous bosses. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. Yeah. Alright, finally above water. Ugh, I would love to be raining right now if I were underwater. Alright. Another piggy bank. I can never seem to destroy one of those things in one combo. And there it is. The second spark. And I'm going over here for some reason. Ah, because, yep, another piggy bank. Open sesame! Now let's go get that spark. Spark, get. Woohoo! 
You know, wasn't there something called the spark in Transformers Beast Wars? Not sure if it was a coincidence or not. All right, and we're almost done with this stage. All right, is Q and Urso going to talk to me soon? Let's go into the next room. No? Hmm. Malfunction. 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 Ah! All right. Oh, time to whip out the whip, whip stick. All right. Woohoo! This whip is so fun. Woohoo! Yahoo! All right. Oh, back here again. Remember that one spot I couldn't traverse? Guess I'm gonna need the drill for it. Alright, we got another one of these guys. Boom! You know what they say? Ain't no kill like overkill. You know what they also say? Say hello to my new friend! Oh yeah. I don't think I ever showed this little guy off. Got him from the whiny kid. Forgot what his name was. You know, the kid with all the seeds. Alright, and at this, it should just be smooth sailing to the mainland. And all I need to do is get to the subway, I think. Hmm. There we go. Use that wind drill. Why haven't I used that more in this game? Hmm. You know, I was just thinking about Super Epic The Entertainment Wars recently. It's another Anthro Metroidvania game, and a really underrated one. Sometimes I actually do find myself going back to that game. And I almost want to do a video with all the bosses. I know someone already did it, but they showed the bad ending to the game. Wait, did I already say all this? I swear I'm getting a sense of deja vu. But I want to see someone do it with the good ending. Why did that dude only show the bad ending? Guess he didn't like the game enough, which kind of makes me sad because it's a pretty fun game. Well, that level was over quickly, so let's show the next level. Down, 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 badooby. Oh, wait, I already did that in one of the previous videos. I know a few other songs about going down, but, you know, none that I feel comfortable singing. Actually, I don't feel comfortable singing at all, to be honest. But here we are. Ooh, spooky cave. Yes, the audience can see that, Valve. Why do you keep doing stuff like that? Bad Bell! Bad! Also, when are you going to draw more images? And what's going on here? Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, a lot of your old images are kind of outdated. Like, these two do not feel consistent with the rest of my sprites. Probably because of the face. The eyes are way too big. Also, look at this one! Is Balf supposed to be a Rakshasa? Why are his thumbs on the wrong side of his hand? The main gate can probably be opened with the spark. Put the magic key in there, and say the magic word. Open Sesame! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Fun fact about the Rakshasa, it is most known for its role in Dungeons and Dragons, where it takes the form of a lion-headed creature with inverted hands. Though it's based off, I think, an old Indian 
monster. This is some folklore from India. And if I recall correctly, the original creature had neither a lion head nor inverted hands. Though it did have a lot of other weird features. Alright. Ah, yeah. Okay. Looks like we need the fist again for this one. Oh, yeah, you know... Now that I think about it, didn't we already have a battery puzzle like this? Huh. Wonder what they're gonna do different this time. Hey, wait, why am I going up? The exclamation point was down there. Oh, boy. Alright, this is gonna be a pretty lengthy dungeon. But I think I can do it pretty quickly. But it looks like there's going to be a lot of puzzle solving in this one. I'd like to see what they do with it. Ah, those guys again. Whoa! I don't think they did that before, did they? It's been a while. Used to fighting the Iron Dog, so I don't remember these guys that well. I'm going to get up? Oh. Hmm. Uh, like I said, it's the exclamation points down there, so I'm assuming I have to go down. But it doesn't look like I can right now. Hmm. Maybe I need one of those yellow batteries. Okay, well, just press on, I guess. Hmm. Again, yeah, not getting up. <laughs> that one didn't get up at all. Ooh. This room's kind of rustic. Love how you can see so far back. And none of those graphical glitches either. Aw, how kind of you. You're putting the battery right there. Thanks. Now, just keep going down. Okay, is this like a dormant temple? Why is there so much glowing and whatnot? Hmm. wonder what I'm supposed to do with this. Nothing's happening. Guess I gotta set it down. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Still not doing it. Oh, there we go. Right when it left the field. Okay. Oh. Think you're gonna pull the wool over my eyes? I don't think so. Hey, come back! Take me with you! Well, guess I gotta wait. You know, why haven't I been doing that more often? I feel like I should be cutting out some of the unnecessary stuff. Besides that, it's not really that fun trying to figure out stuff to say. A lot of times I'm just spouting exposition. Maybe I should go... Uh, that moment you realize that you probably need the yellow battery. Alright, where was I? I mean, yeah, do you really need to hear all the exposition? Maybe I should go back to spouting what's on my mind. Though, to be honest, there really isn't anything on my mind right now. Hmm. Things to talk about. Ooh! Well, I did try out this game recently called Dusty Raging Fist. I kind of want to do a Battle Schemes for review on it. But, spoiler alert, it's probably not going to be all that positive. Because, from what I've played, it's 
not very good. It, it really isn't. It's, I still kind of enjoy it, but I wouldn't call it a good game. Plus, it's another game starring a bunny. Why? Why are there so many bunny games? I mean, I mean, okay, okay. There, there isn't half as many games starring bunnies as there are humans. In fact, there's not even a tenth or a hundredth. But still, they're one of the most common anthros. At least they all look different, though. Raiden's pretty boss looking. And that might be one of the reasons why I like anthros so much, since it's so much easier to make them look unique and interesting than it is to make humans look unique and interesting. But then again, with so many games using a realistic or anime art style, how many games even try to make humans look unique? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and while I'm carrying the battery, I guess I have to deal with a lot of these enemies. Well, it, they never said it'd be easy. But nothing some missiles can't solve. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling that's going to be a constant challenge, though. Huh. What about that lever? Ah, uh, yeah, didn't think that was going to be so easy either. I was wondering why that lever was there. Dang it, I wasted some ammunition! Hey, be nice! Never mind, I'm just gonna mosey on off now. Mosey, mosey. Okay. Ah, you just don't know when to quit, do you? Come on! Urgh, take that! Hmm. So where are we going now? Hmm. Why don't I try this platform? Okay, I'm going up. Am I supposed to be going up? I don't know. Another lever. Okay, what's the lever do? Ooh, a chair. Guess there's none of those healing stations, so guess I gotta do it with the chair. I really wanted to get one to malfunction. Why can't I videotape it malfunctioning? Hmm. One of these days. One of these days. Huh. I think I know what the battery is supposed to do. Let me... Get up on the ledge. Okay, and... Dang it! Okay, try again. And, all right, now, okay, that was wrong, but at least it respawned the battery, it... okay, um, dummy me better try and think of a different strategy, don't, come on, wise up, all right, that's better. I guess that's the puzzle of this area. Click. Going up. Oh, this looks interesting. What do we got to do here? Ooh, another lever puzzle. Okay. So I got to hit the levers so the battery doesn't burn. That's kind of clever. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Ah! No, no, no. Ah. Gotta try this again, I guess. Alright. Click. Going back up. Now let's do it right this time, dipstick. Come on, Dweebenheimer. Alright. Careful. Hmm. Of course, he's not going to make it easy, is he? 
There's always a complication, isn't there? Gotta fight the enemies and keep those gates closed. No. Da. Bail. Stop. With. The. Exposition. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, looks like I'm almost there. Dang it, stupid lever! You blocked my missiles! Alright, got it passed. Nice! Now just keep on keeping on. Huh. You're back here again? Shoo! Stop following me! Nah. <laughs> Crumbles once it got out of the field. So I guess those batteries are magical. Not sure what the whole deal is with the spark and ancient energy and whatnot, but... Apparently, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know the full lore behind this game. I don't know how much they're planning on updating it, but it, it is, it did get an update recently, so at least they're still working on it. That must mean it got some sort of success, which is nice. Though it's only got... It's still only got a few... I don't think it even has a hundred ratings yet. And there's another game that I kind of have my eye on called Rainbow Billy. Or The Adventures of Rainbow Billy. It looks so charming and it's kind of a Mon Collector. And I've seen it mentioned on a popular Mon Collector YouTube channel and it's gotten favorable reviews. But it's even less popular than this game. And it always kind of pains me to see so many good ideas go unnoticed. Because stuff like Elden Ring takes the spotlight. Like, okay, just don't even get me started with Elden Ring. Just do not get me started with Mother Elden Ring. A lot of times it just feels like the most sterile and uncreative games are what get the spotlight. And I know people are going to defend Elden Ring on its creativity, but I've seen a lot of gameplay footage and trailers and whatnot for it, and I have no reason to believe it's going to be creative. It rehashes a lot of the same cliches that I'm honestly sick of, and I just... I, I, I'm so sick of those cliches, like... The human hero riding a generic horse, fighting evil dragons, and possibly nature spirits and whatnot. I, I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm done. I've, I've seen that concept to death, and I just, I'm done. Typical medieval high fantasy universe where it feels like everything except humans and the generic three cats, dogs, and horses and whatnot have to be bad guys because that's what you're supposed to do and ah, told you not to get me started why did i get started bad bell bad big man where are you you're supposed to stop me from doing stuff like that uh, sorry bill but i was in the shower do shotgun gecklemon take showers I, I i didn't know they took showers I mean, you gotta get clean somehow. Don't frogs live in a swamp? It's kind of confusing that you're called Shagun Gekkoman, even though you're clearly a frog. And wow, I beat that boss way too easily. Uh, I guess that's just how powerful I become. All right, let's see what kind of puzzle this room has. Okay, put the battery up here. Hmm, let's scout the area, shall we? You open that thing, and wait, oh crap. Oh! 
Okay, I think I got it. You gotta control the gates so your little battery doesn't get toastified. I just took the wrong path. Alright. Okay. Gotta wait. Can't take too long. Alright. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, what the... I think I goofed up. Yep, I goofed up. Back to the start. Alright. This might take a little trial and error. Or I just have to pay attention. Alright. Open this gate. Hurry. I don't want to open it too early, because I'm worried it'll close on me if I open it too early. Alright. Get to this one. Yes! Now to get to the next one. Hey! Ay -ay 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 -ay. Alright. Starting to figure it out. Just need to stop messing up. Go! Ah. <sighs> Back to the start. Okay. Don't worry, I can solve this. Just, it's gonna take a while, but I can solve this. Okay, switch one. Switch two. Not gonna stop me this time. Okay. Switch three. Alright, is that it? I think that might be it. Going up. Uh oh. There's another toastification laser I have to shut off. Uh, ah, what do I do? Dang it, hey! All right, let's see what I have to do first before I go around and do the whole spiel again. It's, no, I guess I wasn't supposed to go over there. Let's see, ow, 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 toasty. Okay, I think I saw where I was supposed to go, so. Back to the start. Place the battery on correctly, you numbskull. Click. You know, there's no reason I couldn't have just went the other way. Alright. Click. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Next switch, not too early. Stupid cannonball thingy. Alright. Gotta, um... Maybe I do have to go this way. Let's... Let's hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Alright. And almost there. Yeah, going. Come on, come on. Phew! All right, I think I did it. All right, I think we're. Mo I think I'm almost done with this labyrinth. Just need to place one more battery. Hmm. Although I am curious what's there. I know this is a bonus area. This isn't necessary, but I am kind of curious. Another enemy. I'm just going to walk right past it. Hey! 
Ugh. Not gonna deal with that, huh? I, but I'm sorry. I don't have time for that. Ugh. All right. Going down again. Hmm. More searing hot lasers of death. So what's down here? Ooh, yes, please. Just need one more of those things to add another blue bar. And I'm liking the little guy at the top. He can't hit me, but he's trying. A for effort, little guy. A for effort. Alright, that didn't take too long. Now on to the main path. Click. Going up. Alright. Huh. It's a little farther than I thought the temple would be. It should be fine. I think. Maybe if I just find out now. Okay, summon another battery. And time to go back up. Wait, do I still have the? What the heck? How have I not explored that bit of the map? What's going on? Oh, great. Now I'm vexed. Let's see if I can... Uh, let's see if I still got that ES... Or SP... Down. Yep, I still got it. Okay, that's good. But did I... Ex did I explore this area now? Okay, what am I doing? Raiden! Raiden! I don't know what I was thinking back then either. Alright. Am I gonna try it again? What the heck? Okay. There, now I explored it. Okay. Now let's get back on track, Raiden. I do like the fact that this game is pretty forgiving. When you die, it respawns you pretty close to where you died. It's always helpful to have in a modern game like this. Alright, should I try and fight these guys? Or should I just try and muscle my way through? Sometimes, there is only one option. Alright, back up. You know, I've been trying to cut those down, but it's really not worth it. They're not that long. Oh, there's another battery checkpoint. Will I need it? Guess I, in case I get hit by any of these cute little buggers. Boom! Hey! I didn't even destroy them, did I? Uh, you know what? That one up there, that one up there, I'm just gonna ignore. See ya! Alright. I think I got most of the colorful ones. Oh, looks like we're not done here, are we? Another switch I need to... I think. Oh, I guess not. Alright, we're almost there. Who knows what evil horrors await you down in the very pits of the ancient temple. <laughs> now, all right, we have opened both of the chambers. Now it's time to go down. 
Wait, what do we got here? Yep. You know it. This is the last ability in the game. Nice. The Omni Dash Plus. Now you can go through enemies. That might be useful. I think there's a place in uh, Old Town I could use that on. I found the entrance to the ancient altar. It's right below you. But there's no way back up if you jump down. Rabbits know their way around holes. Wait for my signal. Once you get back, we'll celebrate. The three of us. But you just said there's no way out. How are you sure he's gonna come back up? Nah, whatever. After this, I'm gonna be signing off. Until next time, I'm Belf, and the cave is closed. I see. The cats were the first Ferdisons to come into contact with the spark. Then who gave the spark to the cats? According to our legends, they were gods. Gods? They created this world? The gods only granted us the power of the spark. It was our ancestors that created the world. The cat clan was instructed by the gods to build Torch Tower and spread the power of evolution across the world. The power of the spark is truly immense. What does Cicero want to do with it? The spark represents infinite possibilities. The more you pursue power, the closer you come to reaching the endgame. Cicero believes that the future of Torch Tower and Fertizens lies in a perfect fusion of flesh and machine. The spark can help him achieve this. Generations of the Cat Clan have devoted themselves to ensuring that the spark is not used for such ambitions. It is the mission of the Cat Clan, and my destiny. The spark must be buried underground, even if it means sacrificing myself. Go. Fulfill your destiny. Thank you, silly bunny. This ends now. Will this really end it all? And now, what will happen? Don't really know. The torch hasn't been lit for a thousand years. Maybe peace and quiet is the best thing for the spark. Time to waste our YouTube.